In today's Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom, you're going to learn all about following the pain. Sounds painful, I know, but I promise it's worth it in the end. Michael Haig is a longtime Hollywood scriptwriting consultant. He's worked with some A-list actors, and today he's also a business consultant who helps people with their stories. More importantly to me, he's been a mentor for the last two years. Michael recently shared this thought with me. He said, Michael, in order to find the, the, the root, the, the, the heart of a story, you've got to follow the pain. I was a little confused, and he said, here's what I mean. He said, remember, my, my concept, my main mantra is that the purpose of story is to elicit emotion. Well, emotion is born out of conflict, and conflict can be found in the pain of your story. He then shared with me some of his personal stories and stories of, of people he's worked with, and then asked me about one of mine. You've heard this story before. It's all about me sitting in my boss's office. When I examined the arc of my story, and went back to its roots. Michael's premise makes perfect sense. The emotion in my story is created from the fact that I was afraid I was going to lose my job. What did that come from? That came from conflict. The external conflict, the obvious one, was my boss telling me, you're going to lose your job if you don't become a better presenter. When I dug deeper into this story, I realized that the true source of the emotion was my internal conflict my fear, self-doubt, worry, a lack of confidence. So when I follow that pain, I was in danger of losing my job because of an incident that happened in first grade that humiliated me in front of a group of people. That stayed with me all the way to that day in my boss's office when the pain of losing my job became greater than the pain of dealing with my fear of standing in front of people. As you're putting your stories together, go deeper. Follow the pain. Remember, you want to elicit emotion in your stories. That emotion is born from conflict. It's your job to dig deep and find out the source of that conflict. Typically, it's an internal problem. It's some negative feeling that has put you in the situation to create the emotion. Tomorrow, we're going to take this one step further and help you understand what to do with this pain once you've discovered it. Talk with you tomorrow about more pain in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.